Donald Sterling's intentions are unclear this morning after indicating he would sell the Los Angeles Clippers. Sterling is now sending some mixed signals. Meanwhile, his estranged wife's lawyers say they have several offers to buy the team, and she wants to sell before the league can officially end the Sterling era. Ben Tracy looks at the high stakes. And I'm not telling you he won't sell. I'm telling you at the moment he's not professed any interest in an immediate sale. Max Bleacher is Donald Sterling's attorney. He says the Clippers owner now wants to fight the NBA because he is not a racist and feels unfairly accused. How long and how hard is he willing to fight this? To the bloody end. What we're seeing here, we're seeing his ego return and emerge, and it's a good thing. But is ego a good business plan? Maybe not. In a scathing 32-page letter to the NBA, Donald Sterling dismissed this whole saga as nothing more than a lover's quarrel. Yeah, it bothers me a lot that you want to broadcast that you're associating with black people. Sterling says those now infamous remarks to his girlfriend were illegally recorded, and the league is violating his constitutional rights by using the recording against him. Sterling's estranged wife, Shelley, owns 50% of the team. She wants to quickly sell it before the league's expected vote next week to terminate their ownership. Last week, in a document obtained by CBS News, Donald Sterling authorized his wife to negotiate with the NBA regarding all issues in connection with a sale of the Clippers. But now, in an abrupt shift, Donald Sterling wants to keep the team and may sue the NBA. From the outside, this looks like a complete mess. Is it? I wouldn't go that far. Okay, let's say you actually win and he keeps control of the Clippers. The coaches said he'll quit. The players have said they won't play. What kind of team does he have? The players are making a lot of money, and you tell me if they're going to just walk away from that. If the Sterlings do sell, they could walk away with up to $2 billion. If the NBA takes over the team, the sale will be on the league's terms. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Los Angeles.